take you on a tour of my favorite places and spaces in what I think is the best city in the world, New York. Yeah, these are just important spots that I find really inspiring creatively and my first spot is the Waverly Diner. I really love this spot. I used to come here a lot late at night and I'd just write. Um, I would write journal entries, poems, songs, ideas, um, and it just feels like a really inspiring place. It's, in my mind, it's just very much New York preserved in this little tiny corner restaurant. Um, I usually like a hot chocolate with whipped cream <laughs> if I'm feeling indulgent, and then um, coffee, or depending on the time of day, pancakes or fries. There's so much character here and people who are very passionate about preserving the, the true identity of this neighborhood or what it has been for them for so long. And so watching, watching these people who've continued to find their space and exist in it and, um, and carve it out for themselves. And you find little spots throughout this neighborhood like this that feel that way to me. And they'll talk to you. Everyone's like, it's such a community. Cafe Panino, which is my local coffee shop. I usually come here every day. Um, today I'm drinking an iced coffee with oat milk, which is usually my favorite drink in the summer. I've met a lot of my neighbors here because the vibe is very community oriented. It's a lot of regulars, a lot of um, people who've been living in the village for a really long time. And that's like why I find this neighborhood to be so special. I find that community is really important to me and it's really hard to find that in New York because it's um, very easy to feel like you're anonymous in this city, which is amazing, but at the same time, I think we all crave a sense of community, or at least I do. So um, that's why these spots are important, and they've been around for a while, and um, the whole neighborhood really came together to support the local businesses during the pandemic, and um, yeah, it's been really, it's been really cool. Of gold with a crooked smell, the same exact thing that caught my eye. Chasing you in circles, just to kiss your face. So here we are in Bryant Park, and uh, this has been a special place for me because I've worked on Broadway and the reason why I'd come here is because it gets a little intense being in Times Square all the time so this felt like a nice place to stay away from the madness and so I was actually here when I got the call for the politician that I found out I was going to be a part of it which was a really amazing feeling. It was a two-show day when I was doing Dear Evan Hansen and I, my agents called and said you are going to be on The Politician, you're hired. It feels really amazing to be able to share my voice and my words with my own music. Um, as an actor, you're always saying someone else's words and singing other people's music, and you're singing it in the voice of a character, and so it's never completely you. Um, and so it's really special to be able to like be my authentic self and to say, my truth and sing it and perform it for people. I feel like sharing my experiences is important and sharing my my relationships and how, how I've learned um, from my relationships and different experiences that I've had in relationships and most of my songwriting is relationship driven. Um, because I do feel like we learn the most about ourselves by the people that we surround ourselves with. And so it feels really good to be able to get those feelings into something that can be in the form of a song that you can share because I feel like 
sharing your deepest, most personal truth is really important because someone else is going to hear it and feel validated, feel heard, and, and think that they've had that exact feeling as well. And I've, I've felt that as somebody who's heard or experienced or seen art. And it's, it's ultimately, I think, what brings us together as people. And um, yeah, I think humanity is brought closer together by our shared experiences. And so the more personal and truthful we can be about them, the better we'll be as people. <laughs> producer Michelle's studio, which is where we pretty much record all of our songs. We generally just decide the day of what kind of song we want to write, um, or I bring in an idea that I've had and we just flesh it out and it's really amazing to collaborate with somebody because I feel like ideas go so much further. I guess my songwriting has really evolved um, throughout this process. I guess it's mostly my confidence. I feel like I, I've always felt somehow um, unworthy of being able to say my own words. And um, I guess like, the imposter syndrome is real, and so I always felt like I didn't have the voice to really write what I wanted to write and sing how I wanted to sing. And so giving myself the permission to really do all of those things, is it's been really liberating. And I feel like with each song, I've just gotten more and more confident with the truth that I want to express and, and being more truthful about who I am and, and how I want to sound and, and what is my actual voice. We realized a lot of the songs that we had been writing have been kind of downers <laughs> and I, I've always been afraid of love songs. I find that it's really easy to sound a little bit cheesy when you're writing a love song and so I thought it'd be really fun to write a song about my dog and there's something that makes it feel more earnest when it's about an animal because it's a very... Um, pure, innocent kind of relationship. Like there's no, um, there's no questions about the relationship. It's very clear. Something I'd like people to walk away with after listening to my music is a sense of stepping into their own power. I think that it's really hard to exist as your fullest, truest self in this world. And so many people are going to tell you no and, and so many people you know, don't want you to be great. <laughs> and like, I think understanding that and knowing that is so much a part of the growth of getting away from caring about that and realizing that the only way we're going to actually help the world and then be the best thing we can be for the world is stepping into our truest, most honest, authentic selves. And so a lot of that is saying no to people who are going to try and bring you down in some way because that's actually detracting from the betterment of Shotgun the whole world <laughs> your car counting lines on the highway some say we are always running away your hair blowing always in your face i don't care about anything today to be great, no. They don't want us to be, they don't want us to be great. 